In this video, I'm going to be breaking down one of my favorite passing concepts just for short yardage situations in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Now, if you're brand new to the channel and you don't know what I do on YouTube, basically what we do here is I help you get better at Madden 21. Now, we do this through a variety of different ways, but one of the ways that we do that is we post videos every single day that are designed to help you get better on the offensive side of the ball and on the defensive side of the ball. So if you're interested in getting better at this game, I would highly encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. We upload videos every day at 2 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. We also stream every night with our subscribers, basically answering your questions live every night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. Okay, guys, so I wanted to share with you one of my favorite, like, yard gainer, like, you got to have, like, a, a, a conversion play. That's that's really what this is. It's, it's a conversion play. And it comes to us from the Y-Off Trips Pats formation. And the Y-Off Trips Pats formation, in my opinion, is the best offensive scheme out of the best offensive playbook in Madden 21. The reason why why off trips pats is so good is number one it gives you alignment advantages number two it gives you route um it gives you routes for every situation and number three it is very easy to use for really anyone so if you have questions or if you want to get our u trip scheme there is a link to my entire New England offensive ebook in the description of this video. A lot of people have been using it and a lot of people have been having success. But I wanted to share with you one play in particular. And it's a play that not very many people talk about from this formation. But we're going to be going over the play. Not tight end whip, I'm sorry. But the play. Where'd it go? Maybe. Here we go. Patch drag wheel. This play is super effective for for certain situations. And all you're going to do is you're just going to motion Mike Evans to the left. That's it. Now, what I like to do is I like to take Scotty Miller and put him on a little hitch route. And then I like to take my uh, running back and put him on a, a little flat route. LaShawn McCoy on a flat route. And then on the back side, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the slot receiver. If I have a slot apprentice, I'll put him on a crossing route or a post route. Otherwise, I'm just going to streak him. Okay? You could do either or. And what you'll notice is for short yardage, it's darn near impossible to stop this route to Mike Evans. If you just need a yard, it is really hard to stop it. Um... I'm going to show you cover two, shaded coverage down. That was cover two, just standard. But I'm going to show you cover two. This is cover two, shaded down. And again, you're just going to snap them kind of right in here. And look at this. The yellow zone is going to go to the hitch route. And it's going to leave this vulnerable point where you can basically pop easy, easy reads to Mike Evans. You're going to be able to do this very consistently. And this is also going to work against man-to-man -man coverage. Because you're putting that little swing route to the running back, you'll see here it's going to pull the zones, and one of the curls are going to be open. Either the hitch route is going to be open, or the route to Mike Evans is going to be open. Now another way to run the same exact concept and the same exact play is to motion Godwin instead of Evans. This is where I really like this play if they're running a lot of zone. If they're running a lot of man, I don't like this play as much, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to put Gronk on a flat route. We're going to put McCoy on a flat route. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take Scotty Miller. He's going to go on a curl, okay? And then Godwin is going to go on a hitch. And we're going to motion Godwin to the left, and we're going to snap him right about the same point. And what you're going to notice is if they're in cover two, it's going to play it a lot differently. Take a look at this right here. You see that this curl route is now going to be a read that is very, very common and very, very open for you to be able to hit. You can do it two different ways, right? You can use 
You can use Evans's route as the curl, or you can make it into Godwin's route. So you could do a little bit of both if you wanted to, and it's actually going to throw. I you might not think it's going to throw the defense off. It really truly will. The defense will have a hard time defending this because they don't know what to expect. Is Scotty Miller on a hitch or is Scotty Miller on a curl? Is Evans motioned over or is this receiver motioned over? You'll see here, now if he's on a hitch, oftentimes that vert hook is going to drift back to the curl route. But let me show you an adjustment that a lot of people put on their zones that is actually going to change some of this reality. A lot of people will put their curl flats at 20 yards, but a lot of people will also put their hook curls at five yards. And if they do that against this specific concept, it is suicide for being able to stop this in a short yard situation. Now, if you have Madden questions and you wanna get those answered, I do wanna highlight briefly our text message membership. We actually have a membership for you guys, completely free to sign up for, where basically every week we break down a free full scheme. I'm actually broken down pieces of this U-Trips in the past. Not the entire ebook, but the U-Trips portion of it. So if you want to get a link to that video, all you have to do is shoot me a text message. My number is 812-216-3644. It's also in the top left-hand corner of your screen, and it's in the description as well. So you can text in to get the U-Trips, the full scheme. This is just a little bitty piece of the scheme. And then also what you can do is if you have Madden questions, you can also text in because it is my cell phone number and I will be able to answer your questions. So anyway, if you take a look here, this is cover two with those shaded, those, um, those yellow zones at five yards. And what I want you to notice is that I can basically, even though Scotty Miller is not exactly the tallest wide receiver in the game, he's, he's going to work just fine. Watch this right here. As long as I snap this route right there, what you'll notice is I can high point this route to Scotty Miller. If their yellow zones are on five, this is a very easy little way to get free yards. I mean, that's really what this is. Uh, another way you could do this is something like this. This play is very flexible. But what you'll notice here is, you see, I can run two curls to the top of the formation. There's a plethora of things that you can do. One of the other things I want to show you is this man coverage. A lot of people are running a lot of press man. I've been getting a lot of questions about that. If they're running press man, especially on the first setup, it's not going to stop it because of the motion snap. By motion snapping, you're going to get this nice little snapback animation, and it's going to basically be automatic. Now, one of the other things that you'll experience if you run a lot of U-trips is you'll actually experience a lot of cover four. This is one of my favorite ways to beat cover four in the entire game. And the reason why is because if you just simply streak Scotty Miller here, you're going to notice that I can kind of get this ball out quick and burn the cover four. It's a snap throw. It's very similar to the curls play from the far tight slot, which we broke down for you guys from the West Coast playbook. Really any cover two, cover three, you know, it really doesn't matter. You're gonna notice that this route is very similar. So I can snap throw this and user catch it if I want to. So now I have options with this offense. I can do a lot of different things. Um, I can't, you know, I don't just have one little trick. I have multiple options, and that's what makes this offense so powerful. Now, let's say they run man against the second setup that I showed you. If they run man against the second setup that I showed you, you're going to notice that they're going to have a little bit more success. As you can see there, it's a little bit more tricky to consistently beat man press. And, and I'm specifically talking about man to man press. If there's shaded coverage over top, then you should be good but i do want to show you mike evans's route and this is against press coverage press coverage if he gets this inside separation he will beat it every single time so if he gets inside separation on press man-to-man -man coverage he's good if he doesn't right which does happen occasionally then you've got to look somewhere else like you really quickly 
So if Jai, but most of the time he wins, as you see right there, most of the time he wins to the inside. So with him winning to the inside on such a high level, you can feel confident. You see right there, that little inside. Now right there, you noticed that right there he got rerouted. If he gets rerouted like that, that's where problems can start to kind of come into play. So if this, then that, having that formula has always been really, really important. So what if that happens? What do you do? Well, you go back to your left side here. You'll notice that, again, this curl route is super, super effective just as well. And if they press coverage out of like a cover two man, the same thing really applies. The one difference with this is you want to wait for that slot to get over top so that he presses him. You actually want him to get pressed. If he doesn't get pressed and they are shading underneath, that's where issues can occur. Now, most of the time they won't do that, but with the motion snap of Chris Godwin, sometimes this can be a little bit of a problem. So again, you're just motion. Like if I were to snap him right here, you see there's no one on him. And so you can hit it, but it's just one of those things that you need to be aware of. But that being said, guys, if this, then that formulas are super, super powerful, most of the time, the person that you're going to be playing is going to be using the middle linebacker, which means he's more than likely going to be trying to watch out for any post routes, any crossing routes, that kind of thing. So when you mix in these little curls and hitches, this really does make a big difference, right? You'll see right there, that's what I'm talking about. He got rerouted, and Jair Alexander is able to take that ball away. When you run man coverage, if they if they face if you face man coverage with this play, I just want you to understand and remember one thing. Press man, look to the left. So if they run this, then you do that. If you take a look, if he presses me, I can go right there quick. I can't go right there late. I have to throw it quick and to the inside for this thing to work. If I don't do either one of those two things, then I could be in trouble. Right there, inside, go. If he gets that inside leverage, this thing is, is money. If he doesn't, you need to look to the other side. Okay? But that's man coverage. Uh, man coverage, to me, man coverage is going to give it the hardest time. Zone coverage really is not going to be able to be equipped to stop this. And again, the beauty of the curl route, the beauty of the curl route, in my opinion, is the ability that you have to click on the receiver, come back and make the catch, and the way that it just kind of sits and posts up. Now, I want to show you one last setup that I think is worth mentioning in this. And that is this... Um, Da, 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 tight end. It doesn't matter. It's the same play. We just use the same play. But it, all you're going to do is you're going to hitch Scotty Miller. You're going to swing route McCoy. And with Godwin, you're going to put him on a curl route when he crosses the left side. Snap him right on the outside. You don't want him inside whatsoever. But what you've done is you've created a trips alignment to that side of the field. As you see there, cover two, that, that cloud flat is going to get pulled out of the way by the running back. So some really, really good stuff in this video talking a little bit about the, you know, the curl routes and everything that you can do with this. This offense is really, truly, like I think you're going to be amazed when you practice this offense and realize that it is so powerful. I want to remind you before we take off here that, number one, if you haven't subscribed yet, to go ahead and subscribe. But I also want to remind you that if you have not yet picked up the New England Patriots ebook, I believe it is the best offense in the entire game. Literally, there's no other offense that I would rather be using in a big money game situation. So you can pick up the full ebook in the description. If you want to get my text message membership breakdown of this specific formation, as well as many other formations, go ahead and shoot me a text. Thank you guys for your time. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you tonight on our live stream.